Welcome to the Windows 8.1 Lessons. And this is Lesson 4. We are going to view the different apps and find how you can see all the apps installed in your computer. First things first, when you turn on your computer, you go to that start screen, of course, and you see there are tiles that are already there, but these aren't all the apps that your computer has. It's just a partial uh, view of the different apps in your computer. So in Windows 8.1, if you want to view all the apps installed, all the programs installed in your computer, you have a little arrow on the bottom left of your screen, right here. If you click that little arrow, you are now in the full apps view. And here, you have the full list of everything installed in your computer. Not only apps, even old style programs that work on your desktop are all in this list. Now, one of the major problems of the all app view is the fact that it's very cluttered and I must say that that is not the best job Microsoft has done to actually give us the list of programs around the computer. But you can change the way you view these apps. On the upper left side, you have apps by date installed or different types of view. You can click that little arrow and there you'll have by name, by date installed, by most used and by category. So if you want to have them in alphabetical order, you'll put by name. And here they'll be much, much easier to find as they're all under different letters and numbers depending on the name of the app. So here you have alphabetical order, easier to find. If you know the name of the app, this is cool because you'll find it easily. In cases where you install apps all the time, you have by date installed. And here your apps are displayed. On the left side is the ones that you installed the uh, soonest. So if you just installed apps today, you'll actually have like I have here on the left side today and last week and last month and so on. You can also view your apps by most used. So the ones that you use most often will start and be shown first. So here my most used Google Chrome, File Explorer, Internet Explorer, the shutdown icon that I put, sticky notes and so on and so on. And here it's by the latest and the most used apps. And finally, you can have them by category. So you'll have books and reference, education, entertainment. So you can actually put this list like you want. Choose which type of viewing you actually like better. Um, I would say probably the most easy to find is by uh, name. Here, everything's in alphabetical order. So if you know the name of your apps and programs, then you can just go and find them under the correct letter. I personally uh, like the uh, view by date installed because I install a lot of apps in my computer regularly. So I want to see the apps that I just installed um, the easiest way possible, which gives me on the left side I know that everything I installed today or this week or last week or in the past month are all very close to the left side of my screen. And when you want to go back to your start screen from the app full app view screen here, you can either click back on the little arrow here at the bottom or just press the Windows key on your computer and it comes back to your uh, start menu. If you have a touch device, uh, Keep in mind that on your touch screen, you can actually put your fingers at the bottom of the screen and swipe up. By doing a swipe up from the bottom of your screen, you will achieve the same viewing experience of going to the full app view in your computer. So um, if you have a tablet, if you have a laptop that has touch capability, then just go and swipe up on your screen from the bottom of your screen up and you'll get into that app view and you can reverse that option and actually swipe down afterwards from the top of the screen to bring you back to that start menu view that you have. So this is how you toggle between the start tiles, the, the, the apps that you can see on your start screen and the full view of every single app you have on your computer 
that's how you go through these different programs and apps and you can actually see that there's much more installed actually on your computer than is visible on your screen. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe to our channel and you will we'll have all these new lessons that pop up every week hopefully and help you learn more and more and more on Windows 8. If you have comments, questions, maybe some suggestions to improve the broadcast or the podcast, let us know. And of course, hopefully, um, you will share with everyone, you will give us thumbs up, and you will find how to work through Windows 8.1 using our computer lessons on YouTube. So thanks for watching, and hope to see you again taking our different lessons We'll eventually have hundreds and hundreds of videos for computer lessons for Windows 8.1. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.